Royal Navy Launches First Uncrewed Submarine The Royal Navy has launched its first-ever uncrewed submarine, a 19-ton underwater vessel named Excalibur. The 12-meter platform, developed under the three-year Project Cetus, was unveiled on May 15th during a formal ceremony at HMNB Devonport. Rear Admiral James Parkin, Navy Director Develop, led the event attended by 200 guests, including representatives from AUKUS partner nations and cadets from across the Royal Navy. According to the Royal Navy, Excalibur will now enter a rigorous two-year sea trial period. The testing will focus on evaluating advanced technologies intended to support intelligence gathering, infrastructure protection, and operational support for both British and Allied vessels. Navy officials say the goal is to better integrate uncrewed systems alongside manned platforms in future naval operations. The lessons learned from this exciting program will build on our experience from existing programs, such as the Mine Hunting Capability Program, the Navy said in a release. Successful delivery of this program is testament to what can be achieved in collaboration with our industrial partners. Categorized as an extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicle Excalibur will operate under the newly formed Fleet Experimentation Squadron, which falls within the Royal Navy's Disruptive Capabilities and Technologies Office. It will work in tandem with the Navy's experimental surface, Ship 15 Patrick Blackett. While Excalibur is not scheduled for operational deployment, it is positioned as a critical test bed for next-generation stealth and payload systems. Navy officials say the vessel's intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance functions paired with autonomous navigation and adaptable sensor packages will help refine the Royal Navy's undersea doctrine for coming decades.